a lot of people resolve at the beginning of every year that they're going to start budgeting their money. And budgeting is something I find historically, the people who use a budget tool or budget app or budget program are people who are getting affirmation that they're already doing a great job. It's harder to get you interested in budgeting apps if money has been a sore spot for you and how you handle your money has been a problem maybe at some point currently or in the past that having it hit you in the face with a budgeting tool may be something that's a bridge too far. But regardless of what motivates you to go to a budgeting tool, I want to tell you, we've reviewed both the free ones and the paid ones. And I know people get mad at me every year when we review them. Year after year, the best free tool we found has been Mint, M-I-N-T. And Mint is really good for tracking expenses. And it works on your iPhone, works on your Android, and it does the job. And the price is perfect. And what it really does such a good job of is it makes you face where your money's going out the door. What's it going to? And the tools are designed to track automatically. So you can pull up pretty quickly and see, oh man, I spent that much eating out? I mean, it's a really, really good tool to use when you feel like your wallet's not under control. Um, personal capital is one I've talked about very infrequently because it's for investors, but also free. And by the way, if you go to our review of budgeting apps and tools, you'll see, you can click on it and... It'll take you to where you can download it for an Android or an iPhone. And then for people who really, really, really need to get control, my favorite is still a paid one. That's right. I'm talking about a paid app. But it's you need a budget. Y-N-A-B. You need a budget is 100 bucks a year. So you got to be all in on wanting to get your finances under control. But I do really love how You Need a Budget gets you focused in a way that is, I think, has more teeth to it, more meat to it, if you will, than what you get with the Mint app. I think the Mint app is really good if you just want to have a continuous picture of what's going on in your life where you need a budget is much more like it's a little bit like being hit over the head with the two by four to get you to focus on getting your spending under control and i really like and we have reviews of others you might like there's one of them that's specifically designed for couples if you've got like uh things going on as a couple about maybe different Attitudes are not the best communication about money. You'll see that one as well. And it's uh, it's available right on Clark.com where you can read the reviews of each of these. But there may be one that someone else has recommended to you that uh, you give a try and it really works for you. Use it. The idea is that if you don't feel like you have that power right now, knowledge is power with money. And the more you know about what's going on with the finances in your life, the better off you're going to be in getting control of your wallet. And that's why this is a tool that is so effective for people if you'll actually use it.